so um, it's kind of like an interesting uh, subject but a lot of people are telling me you know to why am I fixing this car up why am I doing this and that uh, that is because I'm a real enthusiast and I really love uh, giving these cars new life uh, you know uh, for example my W126 the black one that I'm restoring right now um, I mean sure yeah there there were actually there was, a, there was actually a person who actually offered me uh, the same color W126 black one like in immaculate condition but I didn't take it just because I have a very rich history with this car uh, and uh, even if I get a nice clean black W126 300SD, it's still not gonna be the same car. It's just not gonna be. But this one, I have a very rich history with this car. Uh, I drove it across the country last year. It was amazing. So I'm working on getting this car uh, in a perfect, great shape, uh, which is getting, I'm giving it all my love. Uh, and this car deserves it. So. And another reason why um, I usually buy these, uh, uh, you know, old school Mercedes in a rough shape just because nobody else, I mean, I don't really see any other people that would do it, which is sad. This makes me really sad. Uh, they, there are people out there that are actually scrapping these cars in a lot better shape than like this 240D or that W126. And it kind of, I'm going to tell you right away, right, right off the bat. It, kind of uh, breaks my heart you know just because uh, I make all these videos and I'm trying to make um, trying make to make more people you know love these cars and I'm trying to create like even bigger Mercedes community but you know some people just unfortunately I mean they they probably shouldn't be owning these cars um, and inside of this car actually <laughs> there's a, a door that's gonna go on my black W uh 126 um so yeah but if you have an old school mercedes or old school bmw old school volvo doesn't matter give it all its love uh please in other videos don't don't tell me anything and don't tell me uh to scrap any of my cars because i will never do that uh don't tell me to get a different car or don't ask me crazy questions like why are you fixing this car up and stuff just because i want it because it's my car and i'm a true enthusiast and i will fix it up i will never give up on it you know um so i'm just gonna keep it like really like long story short you know i don't want to like start all this stuff right now but yeah It. Now this is all greased up and can move nicely, freely. Got this all cleaned up, greased up. I'm about to reinstall it all the way down there. All right, guys, got this all looped up. Used also some ATF for it. Uh, right there all this rod is back everything moves nicely okay all right guys I also just fixed um, I replaced this hose that actually leaks pretty bad so I didn't actually film any process but it's pretty simple you know you just remove this upper housing two bolts and some hoses to disconnect and um, you know there's a couple of clamps on that hose but long story short i mean you want to replace that uh if yours is leaking um and the reason why it leaks is like uh underneath that hose there is actually a corrosion buildup so once you take this hose off you have to clean the corrosion and then um you know reinstall everything apply some copper paste uh before you you reinstall it to prevent corrosion again in the future and that's about it guys and uh um so that's another repair uh and i haven't started the car yet but i will uh soon i will check for leaks again and also um while i'm here i'm actually gonna go ahead and uh do some cosmetical work so i'm just gonna um grab some paint and paintbrush and i'm just gonna touch up some of the bolts so they don't start rusting like especially on the water pump and stuff um so yeah guys that's the plan um 
and she's coming along she's coming along um next project will be probably just uh you know replace the flex discs on this baby um and check the center support here's my paintbrush and i'm just gonna go ahead and uh you know touch up some of the bolts here and there so they look really nice all right i'm just gonna do it to all of them and also another thing to watch out for is actually the hoses that rub against each other or the ones that actually rub uh, against the body like this one right here you see it's been rubbing so what you want to do is want to make sure that they're not rubbing so you have to kind of like loosen these clamps and move it around make it uh, basically position it somehow so it doesn't do that and also don't pay attention to all this oil here i have this uh thing that i discovered like with used oil that it's actually useful you can use use oil to like you know lubricate some stuff like so it prevents corrosion as well so you just kind of this is what i do you know uh this is actually really good stuff i like it um and i just go around and especially like the areas like that right there that likes to rust out i like to spray oil in there um so that way this thing stays nicely protected guys it's pretty cool of course i'm gonna come back here sometime and just make sure everything is nice and clean and probably do like an engine bay power wash or blah 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 but um for now i just want to kind of like protect everything and no i did not get any of this oil on the engine mount so don't worry about that um everything is good yeah so what i'm gonna do now like i said i'm gonna move some of these hoses around so they're not touching each other or they're not touching the body of the car all right friends uh everything so far is going so good so i moved both of these power steering lines okay so right now this is not going to be rubbing against this ac hose and same thing with the return power steering hose it's not gonna rub on the spring tower and same thing with the fuel hose right here um and then the biggest thing uh, that i wanted to show you is the cooler lines so if you look at the cooler lines you see the one that's closest to you is rubbing against the body this is pretty bad so whoever installed these cooler hoses or whatever they did not pay attention they did a horrible job so now i have to fix that because otherwise if you keep driving like this this thing is gonna develop a hole and it's gonna be a really bad day so you guys need to check all of your hoses and make sure nothing is rubbing against the body or the other hose to prevent any issues in the future so i wasn't able to undo the um oil cooler hoses they're pretty stuck so i'm trying to soak them right now and in the meantime i just put those uh, gloves in there just so it's there's like a kind of like a cushion in there so it's not gonna rub against the body um but yeah anyways everything else is uh good to go i'm gonna go ahead and start it up and uh i'm gonna check for leaks um make sure everything is good that coolant hose all good and yeah that's the plan guys so we have all this thing out because we will be uh, actually um, so 
we replaced there's a seal that we replaced and we also are cleaning some of this stuff up right now but we had to remove the whole steering column to replace the seal which i'll show you tomorrow what seal i'm talking about but as you can see the clusters out steering wheels out and kick panels a bunch of other stuff and we're actually gonna um i have a cluster in my room so i'm gonna actually go ahead and uh clean it all up and uh restore it so before we put it back all together there's a uh, right there is a uh, turn signal uh combo switch and stuff so we're getting ready to put everything back